what's up guys welcome back to hmht so apple just released a brand new update and this is in addition to some of the updates that we had this week when it comes to ios 14.5 beta so today the update that we have as you can see is ios 14.4 2. This is available as an over the air update so you can easily go to your settings and then go to general and go to software update and you will be able to see this update and you have a supported device and in case you are curious what other updates that Apple released today because this is not all that they released they released quite a number of updates so if we go to the Apple website that you are seeing here these are some of the updates that Apple released as you can see here it's on March 20 26 2021 so this is today that these updates came out and the first one that we was released is ios 14.4.2 that came out today and alongside that also ipad os 14.4.2 and the supported devices for this is the iphone 6s and later the ipad pro all models the ipad air 2 and later ipad 5th gen and later as well as the ipod touch 7th gen so that's that this came out today as you can see and also other updates that were released today for other devices as you can see we have ios 12.5.2 now this is supported for the iphone 5s iphone 6 iphone 6s plus ipad air ipad mini 2 ipad mini 3 and ipod touch 6 gen and it was also released today and the last thing that was released today is watch away 7.3.3 and it's available for the apple watch series 3 and later so all these are some updates that apple released today just in case you are curious and it's interesting to note that today we actually didn't have a mac os update so if you're on mac os and you were looking for a security update or an update that looks somewhat like this then be aware that apple didn't release anything it could mean that the mac os didn't actually have an issue and basically apple released these as security updates and before we look at what they sort of address let's see the software changes that came with this update itself so if we go to settings and go to the about you can see the software version that we have here it's 14.4.2 and the build number that we have as you can see is 18d70 so that is the build number on any device as long as you are updated to ios 14.4.2 this is the build number that you will see whether you have an iphone 12 or an iphone 6s or as long as you have a phone that is supported so if we go down a little bit we'll be able to see the modern firmware version and you can see the modern firmware version that we have here and it's 8.40.01 so this is particular to the iphone 6s that i'm reviewing here if you have an iphone 12 or an iphone 11 or any other device then your modern firmware version will actually be a little bit different but for the iphone 6s if you have updated this is the modern firmware that you are going to be seeing and hopefully it fixes issues when it comes to bluetooth wi-fi or airdrop or any sort of wireless connection now what this update actually changes let's go to see the iphone storage to see whether it's taking a large amount of storage i'm just curious to see so if we go all the way down you see that system is taking the same storage as it was taking before so 6.22 gig and before that it was 6.22 gig so no change in that aspect and if we go to see why apple actually released this update so if we click here on ios 14.4.2 you can see that this is the information about this security update and it's available for all these devices and the impact says processing malicious crafted web content may lead to universal cross-site scripting apple is aware of a report that this issue may have been actively exploited and description says this issue was addressed by improving management of object timeline so basically when you see an update that says is malicious crafted web content the portion that says web content usually refers to uh, browsers like how your device interacts with the internet so like sabra like safari that you see here that means that it has been updated and the issue was addressed by improving management of object timeline within safari so it's a slight change nothing much that came with this update and this is basically bill for i guess a google 
thread analyst who managed to uh, report this issue to Apple. I'm sure they get some sort of um, reward for finding such a serious issue. And that's why Apple actually released this iOS 14.4.2. To, and also iPadOS 14.4.2 to all these supported devices. So it's very important that you update. I'm sure if you have a phone, you obviously use Safari a lot and are on the internet quite a bit. So it's quite important that you update to iOS 14.4.2. Now, when it comes to what other things I'm seeing on my device, so I noticed that this uh, photos here was showing on 14.4.1 before I updated, but as you can see here, it says no content available could be a bug or maybe i'll just have to reload photos here as you can see my content sort of disappeared here so hopefully it's just a bug and if i restart the device it will show up and also another thing that i notice on my stacked widget that i have here you can see the news one is showing as it's supposed to but if we go up a little bit you will see maps is just blank and also you see clock there that it has no data and if we go up again you see that this one for stocks is displaying as it's supposed to so it's some of the apps that i'm not sure why but as you can see when you open the app in itself it shows so i might have to re-add the stack or basically delete the ones that are not showing that are just blank and add them to the stack and that will maybe make them show and as you can see on the widget page here the same issue is persistent so it's something that uh, might have to change by adding the widget again to your widget page here. So that's basically the issue that I noticed. However, this update iOS 14.4.2 fixes an airdrop issue that I was having previously. And basically, if I want to share a file, whether I want to share it to my iPhone or to my MacBook, it's now like smooth unlike before i don't have to attempt it multiple times unlike what was happening on ios 14.4.1 and just to show you here this is the update time that this update took it took about three minutes to download and the update size was actually around 177 so not big so it took like three minutes to download and the preparation is the one that took long for me it took about 10 to 15 minutes i'm not sure why it took that long but yeah this is how we came mean for me on my iphone 6s if you're upgrading from a different device then your update size might be slightly different and the average update size is around 200 to 230 mbs across different devices and just in case you're curious to see how this update is performing you can see settings how fast it opens let's just close it again and open it again you can see how fast it opens so most of the applications that i use are opening as they're supposed to the only issue that i was experiencing as you can see maps has now loaded it's no longer blank like before but the clocks are still blank these are like international clocks that i had set but you can see that they are blank there so with time things are starting to load up slowly slowly i don't know why that is so i might have to restart the device or re-add the widgets and also something else that i wanted to show you is the performance of this device because i did run geekbench scores just to see how it's performing compared to 14.4.1 so if you go to the history there and go to cpu you can see that on 14.4.2 on single core i got a score of 542 and multi core i got a score of 1015. if we go back just to compare it to what i had on 14.4.1 you can see single core i had 524 multi multi core i had 1015 so this is very interesting you can see that it's almost exactly the same when it comes to multi core and also single core it's a little bit better as you can see so multi core exactly the same single core slightly better now if i was to show you the gpu results that i got on 14.4.2 gpu or graphics renderings i got a score of 22.36 and compared to 14.4.1 i got a score of 21.79 so again you can see that on 14.4.2 
GPU or image rendering, 3D image rendering is way better. So in terms of stability, you can see that Apple did do something and it's great. It's a great update in this aspect. And I would really advise you to update if you are still on 14.4.1. You can see that it brings about quite a number of security updates and just stability improvements. And with time, uh, if I, you can see that now it's actually showing. So it's i've been using it for some time and it took i think now it's been about uh two hours since i updated but as you can see things are still loading in the background so i would like to think that most of these figures if i reran geekbench scores i might even get a better score than what i had so compared to 14.4.1 i would say this update 14.4.2 is way ahead in terms of stability and overall functionality when it comes to new features and changes obviously you can see that there isn't a lot that came with this update but there is an update that is going to be coming out soon that will bring about new features and changes so usually when apple releases this point update and by point updates i mean you know 14.4.2 14.4.1 they usually don't have a lot of new features and changes they mainly cater towards security and stability so when when a new update comes out which will be ios 14.5 that's when we can sort of expect a ton of new features and changes and at the moment we are on beta 5 when it comes to ios 14.5 so next week um, we are expecting ios 14.5 release candidate and hopefully if apple just releases just one rc or one release candidate then we are looking for a possible release for the official version of ios 14.5 to all supported devices somewhere between the first or second week of april there could be also a rumored apple event according to some sources that might take place in april so if that is also confirmed and tends to be true then ios 14.5 will be released somewhat after that event or in accordance to that event and that's how this update came in for me remember it's not just ios 14.4.2 that was just released if you have any devices that are, are received an update today don't forget to update as they bring about quite a number of security features and stability improvements other than that that's about it for me if you like this video please leave a like and if you haven't subscribed please subscribe down below and stay safe and i'll see you in the next video very soon peace